Hello, I'm Anne Wawadu. Here's a Channel TV morning news update for April the 20th, 2020. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control has confirmed 86 new cases of COVID-19, bringing the country's total infections to 627. In an early morning tweet today, the NCDC explains that Lagos reported 70 new cases, seven in the FCT, three each in Akwaibom and Katsina, as well as a case each in Borno, Bochi and Jigawa State. As of April the 19th, 2020, 170 cases have been discharged and 21 deaths have been recorded in the country. In Edo State, Governor Godwin Obaseke says the state government has spent over 1 billion naira to curtail the spread of COVID-19. Speaking in Benin City, the state capital, during a live briefing of the virus, Governor Obaseke reiterated his administration's commitment to ending the scourge of COVID-19 in the state. And taking a break from COVID-19, President Mohamed Buhari has condemned the latest bandit attacks, which left 47 people dead in three local government areas of the Sina State. In a statement by his senior special assistant on media and publicity, Garba Shehu, the president expressed sadness over the incident and called on Nigerians not to despair. He gave an assurance that his administration is ever determined to defeat and crush the criminal elements, taking advantage of the lockdown order to attack their victims. On the international scene, the number of deaths from the coronavirus pandemic in the United States has topped 40,000 on Sunday, according to a running tally by Johns Hopkins University. Adding sports, Paris Saint-Germain are ready to offer Brazil forward Neymar £640,000 per week in order to keep him at the club. Neymar has been closely linked with a move back to Spain, but PSG are hopeful that a big money offer can keep him in the French capital, where he appears more settled after a turbulent summer in 2019. And that's the morning news update. Don't forget to join us later for the recap. I'm Anne Wawadu. Thank you for watching.